Hey YouTube, it's ICU2 here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get an SNES emulator for your iPad and how to control it with up to four iPhones or iPod Touches, meaning you can play with your friends wirelessly and control your iPad and compete uh, in a SNES game or Super Nintendo game. In order to do this, you're going to have to be jailbroken on all devices, which obviously means you're going to have Cydia, and then you're going to have to go into Cydia. Okay, so once Cydia loads up, you're going to go to the Manage tab at the bottom. Sources, Edit, Add, and you're going to have to add this source on uh, the iPhones and iPod Touches and also on the iPad. Where the woozle wasn't dot com forward slash Cydia forward slash. And then once you've added that, you're just going to simply go into it. And if you're on an iPhone or iPod Touch, you're going to get a control pad for SNES HD. And obviously, if you're on your iPad, you're going to get SNES HD. And you're going to have to have both of those. So, like I said, you're going to have to have an iPhone or an iPod Touch as well as an iPad. And then, once you have both of those on your iDevices, you're going to have to worry about getting ROMs. Now, there are different ways to get ROMs. You can either do it on the computer or you can do it on your iPad. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to do it on the computer really quick. You're going to go to this website, doperoms.com. I'll put a link in the description. And then you're going to scroll down and you're going to go to uh, Super Nintendo SNES. So I'm going to search for Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Diddy's Quest. And then once you load that up, just click Download ROM. And then just scroll all the way down and then click download ROM again and then it should bring up a download and it downloads them in a RAR file like so so you're going to need something like WinRAR and I'll have a link to that in the description if you're on a Mac you don't have to worry about a RAR extracting program okay so I'll be back when it's finished downloading okay guys so now it's finished downloading and inside of the RAR folder I have uh, this Donkey Kong Country 2. Basically it is a SMC file and then all you have to do with that is just drag it to the desktop and you're gonna have to SSH into your iPad. Now what I use to SSH is WinSCP. I'll have a link to that in the description as well. You can use something like CyberDuck if you're on a Mac and all you have to do is just simply SSH into your iPad and then you wanna go to VAR and then inside of VAR you wanna go to mobile and then media, ROMs, and then SNES. And this is where you're going to place that SMC file. And I already have it in there, so I'm just going to overwrite it. So just yes to all. And this is where you're going to have to place all your ROMs. Now I'm going to quickly show you how to do this actually on your iPad. So go over to SNES HD. And then where you see the little uh, magnifying glass, just click on that. And it instantly searches for dope ROMs, legal backups, uh, Super Nintendo. So all you have to do is just go to the first site, and then you can browse through it here and download it the same exact way. And just a side note, you can only be on dope ROMs once per Wi-Fi address. So uh, basically, if you're on it on your iPad and on your computer, it won't let you download. You get an error message, and if you have a browser open with two tabs that are both on dope ROMs trying to download two things at once, you'll also get an error if you're on different browsers. Uh, you'll get an error, so just try and download one thing at a time. And in order to do this, both devices either need to be over Wi-Fi or uh, both need to be in close proximity to each other over Bluetooth. And I'm going to demonstrate this over Wi-Fi. So uh, first what you have to do is you have to open up SNES HD for the iPad and then open up a control pad for your iPhone or iPod Touch. So I'm going to show you in the camera and also here on uh, my VNC client. It uh, shows a little controller right here and it has a tap to connect screen saying Tanner's iPad. So I'm just going to click on that. And then on my iPad, it's saying found iPhone, do you want to accept? And I'm just going to click accept. So now it's saying it's connecting to my iPhone, and now it says it's connected to my iPhone. So if you're in the landscape orientation like I am, just find the ROM that you want to play. So I downloaded uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy Kong's Quest, and uh, your save states will be below where it says save states, obviously. And then just uh, to play it, just click power right there, and it'll power it on. 
So now that it's loaded up, I'm going to show you that I can actually turn up the volume just by using my iPhone and not even touching my iPad. So I'm going to click the volume up button here. And the volume goes up, so I turned it down. And to skip this little start screen, I'm going to click A. And now I'm going to select a game. I don't have one, so I'm going to make a new one. So I want one player. You can also do two player if you have more than one iDevice connected to this. I'm just going to give you guys a quick overview. And now I can play, I can jump, and if you'll notice, I'm not even touching my iPad at all. And this has zero lag time, uh, so there's no time I have to wait between uh, the buttons that I push on my iPhone and uh, how my little guy reacts. And you can also pause it by pressing the start button here. See, look, I, see, look, I paused it while I'm in there. I'm going to unpause it, and he falls down. So yeah, guys, this is all I'm going to show you right now. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this. You can mess around with it uh, once you get it. And it's actually really amazing and super fun. So this is ICU2 signing out.